There are so many problems in this world. This is a story of what it takes to change the world, told by the people who are already doing it, regardless of the impact you want to make. It's up to you to be the solution. If we're going to transition into plant-based agriculture, there's a massive process that needs to happen. We need a big professional lobbying organization that can bring this message to lawmakers because ultimately that's where the power is. You can stand out on the street holding a sign all day long, we can write books, we can make movies, but when we get laws passed at the state and federal level, we are making immediate wide scale change. If 10% of American vegans gave just $10 a month, we would out-influence big animal ag. My hope is that people listening to this will contemplate what they can do to get into the game and actually make a difference to help move the alternative protein movement forward and help start solving this problem of increased meat consumption that the world is facing right now. As we want to change the world, we need people who are be using innovation. Vegan businesses create alternatives to products that are harming animals or hurting our environment. We have to create a demand so that suppliers and manufacturers are forced to look into alternatives. Rather than fighting with consumers and asking them to give up something they love, whether it's meat or leather, we're saying, hey, here's something better, but you're not giving up anything. These restaurants are starting to realize that they need to adapt because if they're not going to adapt their menus and at least cater to the vegan community, they're going to miss out. I'm excited about how I feel. I feel so much better now that I'm not eating meat. You want to live a healthy life? You want to feel better when you're 70, 80 years old? You got to start getting educated. I didn't go into medicine to manage chronic disease. I wanted to cure people. And these diseases are reversible. We can not only halt disease, progression, but we often will see significant elements of disease reversal. Things have changed so much. I don't think back in the day, people even knew what the word vegan meant. Nine out of 10 people now know. So it is possible for us to see a thriving earth, abundance of food, abundance of biodiversity, and a stable climate. That's all possible. My hope is that people listening to this will contemplate what they can do to get into the game and actually make a difference. Once we get a groundswell in those individual behavior changes, once we get a groundswell in corporate change, then there's pressure to create that political change. And when there's political change, we will see dramatic shifts in animal protection. If you care about this issue, it's not enough to just be vegan. You have to do more.